Yes. Yeah. It's just like a dog show. We sit around and do nothing for hours. Yes. Very Hurry much. up and wait. Oftentimes, I hear that many people in the dog show world actually started in the horse world. It's honestly an entire foreign concept to me. But I was so intrigued that I spent four days learning what all of the excitement is about. And I got a chance to compare the two worlds. Yep, there are some similarities for sure. So hop along and enjoy my adventure with the Parasec family. All right. Am I staying in poopoo water? Yep. Oh, 100%. Welcome to the barn. Awesome. Okay. Adventures, yep, totally my thing. So you really don't want to miss a single episode. Here's your reminder. Go ahead and subscribe and ring that little bell. And while you're at it, leave a comment below. Tell me what other animal adventures you'd like me to go on. I am so lucky to have some of the coolest friends on the planet, two of which are Jackie and Lexi Parasek. I know them from the dog world, but they're also in the horse world. They're in my state of Florida. I'm going to go watch them at a horse show. <laughs> it was an orphan full, so Aww. he knows no personal space, and he thinks that we are his parents. It's right. <laughs> Lexi and her fiancé Jack, who just so happened to be one of the most adorable couples ever, along with her parents Jackie and Jerry Parasak, gave me an amazing chance to compare a horse show to a dog show. It just so happens to be something I always wish to be able to share with everyone and leave it to this amazing family to give me the opportunity because honestly, they are an absolute blast. I cannot tell you how many times we sat there laughing during the four days I spent getting this amazing peek into this awesome world of horses. Horse show parents, right? Horse show parents. Well, I understand that you two actually met yes, at, a, at a horse show. Yes, we tell met doing horses. Um, she did the Western. Oh. Pleasure. She liked the glitz and the glamour. Right. And the plain I can see and simple. that. And then, um, um, I know. Now look at you. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Done it all. Done it all. Done done it all. all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And now dogs. Yes, dogs. dogs. Actually, we did dogs. Dog. We've done dogs for 35 years. Horses and dogs. I am so accustomed to how a dog show works. I was honestly surprised at how oddly familiar so much of this felt. If you have seen my episodes for packing up for a dog show, you will know that there's quite a bit of gear required for my three little chihuahuas. My first aha comparison moment was when I got to see the amount of square footage required to tend to 10 horses. And then look at all of this gear. Holy crap. The girth. So these are what holds the saddle on. Okay. We have all of the different bridles. Ryan does English and Western, so you see we have like an English bridle that has a nose band. Okay. And then these are all Western bridles. They don't have a nose band. And they have split reins. And then he has all of his work saddles. These are work saddles right here with no, they don't have any silver on them. And then he has saddles like this. These are show saddles. Okay. Okay, and then he has all of his English saddles. English saddles. English. When I think about my little grooming space at a dog show, even if you had 10 dogs, this is like 100 times the amount of space and must have items. The next interesting observation, the sheer number of dogs at a horse show. Like dogs just walking around, having a grandioso time, visiting strangers and friends alike. It's like they're a part of the circuit and everybody knows everybody's name, canine and humans alike. Some dog show venues allow you to keep your dogs at the show grounds while you spend the night at your hotel. In the horse world, you obviously cannot bring your horse back to your hotel. <laughs> so they provide a service called Night Watch, where someone comes by every hour and checks on your horses. They make sure they have water and of course that they are okay. That is quite the deal at $4.50 a night. Yeah, we dog peeps, we don't get that kind of service. While we usually get around the dog show grounds on foot or in a golf cart, apparently they use mopeds here. <laughs> now, I'm sure it's a way to keep more room available for the horses on walkways and paths, but it also makes for a very thrilling and exciting ride to get you where you want to go. And yeah, sometimes a little scary. <laughs> Our little doggy bathtubs in the grooming area at the showgrounds are absolutely nothing compared to the stalls provided for horses. We all still have the same lovely hose spouting cold water all over our animals, but hey, it was still interesting enough to note. Getting your wind picture takes a little bit more work, but the process is pretty much the same. Awesome backdrop, holding a pretty ribbon, but of course, way more people required to help set up that horse for the perfect photo. And then of course, there's my biggest nightmare, horse poop. See, I have this rule where I can't own a dog whose poop is the size of human poop. I just can't get my head around it. Like that? Yeah. It's a nice turd. Yeah. 
<laughs> well formed. Well, well formed. Here. Can I, can I continue like, yeah. scooping? Yeah. Just scoop and sip. Oh, I lost my poop. So here I am scooping horse poop with a glorified rake, like you would do with Peyton's kitty litter box or my puppy litter box, just on a truly ginormous scale. Oh my. So, what did I learn about the actual competition itself? While in canine sports, we have multiple activities that you can do with your dog, you know, like confirmation, agility, obedience, dock diving. Horse shows are kind of the same thing. They have Western riding and English pleasure. Now, Western riding is kind of like agility, but you are rocking some very blingy outfits and spending way more on that attire than we spent on our St. John suits. Oh my God. We have the Canine Chronicle magazine in the dog show world, but they have the Equine Chronicle. It was like a total deja vu for me because at quick glance, I was like, what the what? But it was by the same publisher. So that's why it looks so familiar. And they happen to be local to Florida, which is pretty darn cool. We do the Equine Canine Chronicle, 20 years for the Equine Chronicle, 28 Equine Canine Chronicle. Go Florida. Come to Ocala, Florida. Yay! We'll come to you. Take one of these home with you. Lexi competes in Hunters, where they have two different classes. One is where they are judged on the horse, and then Equitation, where the rider is judged. Okay, so that... She's a ring steward. Ring steward. Ring steward. Very cool. And then over there are the judges. In Hunter, the horse is judged on its jumping as well as its movements. So basically, it's being judged on its performance and soundness. You know, like, does it move correctly? It's not as specific as our breed standards, but more general. Confirmationally, if that's a word, is it put together right? Is it a suitable hunter? Is it able to do the task it's being asked to perform? And of course, the horse's temperament and how it responds to the rider's instructions. That's all part of how they're judged. From there, there are a bunch of different divisions and categories that make our 15 class breed ring look like a walk in the park. Jumpers, they compete in classes where basically it's not about how they do it, it's just that they do it. They have to jump over the fence without knocking any of the rails over. They need a clean round around. Okay, so the, the rail is the fencing. Around the outside of the ring. Okay. And the ring is considered where the jumps are. Where the jumps are, okay, so the inside area. The, okay, and then the jumps, okay, all right. And then there's equitation, which is basically kind of a mix between hunters and jumpers. So they compete with a jumper type course, but it's more like hunters because they're being judged on the rider's style. So the horse itself is not being judged, but it can definitely help how the rider looks. So it's kind of like one big package. Oh, you sweet boy, aren't you? Yeah, you are. <gasps> Now we have some protein. You ready to go, show? Good. Good. Behave yourself. Yeah. Come back up. While we have junior showmanship, owner handlers, and professional handlers, they do things a little bit different. Now, they do have youth classes, which are for anyone under 18, but they classify the riders and the horses age differently. Also, amateurs are 18 and over that are non-professional, and then you have professional, which is anyone over 18 who rides, trains, or in some way, anyway, makes money working with horses. And what are you? Oh, yeah. I'm an amateur. Oh, really? You don't look like an amateur. Oh yeah, very cool. That's it, if you don't get paid to do oh. it, you're an amateur, yeah. In addition to all those classes you need to prepare for, you also need to have a trainer for your horse. Order, but then you kept taking away, kept taking away, kept taking away. You gotta get him back well, and then solve it. Well, that's not gonna fix anything. <laughs> Why do we have a trainer for horses? A trainer gets the horse more polished and does more in-depth training on them. Okay. And gets them ready for the amateurs who are not professionals to be able to take the horses in the ring. Okay. Okay, all you dog people, you know we're not supposed to alter our dogs. Crazy, since the outer walls of dog shows are usually lined with vendors that are selling products to color and alter and virtually hide the faults of our dogs. But we're supposed to act like we don't do it. I really love how the horse world embraces beauty modifications on their animals. Like, kind of those toddler and tiara girls wearing those fake teeth. Sorry, I don't know the name of the contraction, but anyway. Since the hunter horse is supposed to actually be all fancy and stuff, they actually accentuate the tail with falsies. Own it, peeps. I mean, seriously, own it. I want one of those for me. I don't feel it. It's heavy. Oh my god, that is really heavy. Wow! <laughs> so would that weigh it down too? Mm-hmm. So they can't 
They can, yeah. Just push it around. And I thought this was pretty cool. Just like when you get your dog ready for the show ring, you shave off all those whiskers, accentuate those sexy legs, and get them all purdy and such. <laughs> He's like a big dog. <sighs> but yeah, there's quite a bit more that needs to actually be done to put on a saddle. Not like slipping a lead around the neck of a dog. And then of course comes the clothes. When it comes to dressing for English pleasure competition, I like the stylish pants and jacket and even the snappy little shirt. I just don't know if my big fat head, which just so happens to be covered with an excessively large amount of thick hair, could possibly endure that helmet or what it requires to put it on. Okay, so hunter hair. It has to go over the ears? Yep. <laughs> Now, I only got to partake in four days of this circuit. This was like a two and a half week long event. And they traveled down here to Tampa from Nashville and they brought the whole crew. And when they travel with their horses, they definitely travel in style. This unit is designed to carry four horses, but it also provides them living quarters while they're at these kinds of circuits. It becomes home for the humans and canines alike including their chihuahuas. I know everyone out there is totally jelly, but I got to play with Buzz Babies. Look at them. They are so stinking cute. Get this. On this trip, they had a new travel companion. Jackie got a new show cat. Yep, you heard me right. Show cat. And clearly, she too has made herself quite at home in their traveling horse RV trailer. And this, my friends, is that perfect example of how these worlds collide in such an amazing way. From those dogs that walk the showgrounds and greet strangers with a random stick or a tail wag, to the traveling companions they bring with them on the road, to the amazing friendships formed in all of the sports bringing everyone together for the love of the animals and what does an awesome traveling horse rv trailer thingy need all of the prizes and ribbons and loot you can win at a horse show kind of like going to a specialty for your dog once you've tallied up all your points you get to get your stuff personalized mugs and bags and hats and blankets and that's just for first through fourth it's at the and of the circuit that you get to receive your super duper duper prizes. They had arctic coolers and even electric scooters. Crazy cool. So while Jackie and Jerry got their matching mugs to sip coffee from in the morning, Lexi proudly grabbed her much desired arctic cooler as a perfect way to end her amazing circuit. How did I end my visit? <laughs> I got to ride a horse. Get up on the stool. You'll take your right leg. This one? Your right one. Okay. Yep, and go up over. Up and over. Okay. And actually, the hay I got at the other beach where we were Wait, seriously. If you have to, like, throw your body on a person, then bring the leg over. How are your touch the back? Right. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, shoot. Come on, you're strong, girl. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. All right, got it. Woo! Okay, here we go. All right. All right, we're gonna turn around. Okay, turn around. Put your feet down. Put them down? Yeah, you don't want them back in his leg. Oh, we don't want them to and pop. Put your, put your toes up. Toes up. Oh. But against the horse. Oh, okay. Okay. But the total coolness did not end there. You see, I had a very special delivery for them to take back to Nashville with them. Not only am I super duper uber excited to share not only that I got to hang with some of my favorite peeps on the planet while learning about an awesome sport, I'm also breeding Stella to the buzz man. Babies in the spring, everybody. Keep fingers and toes crossed, please. So until next time. Yeah, it's a shitty job, <laughs> you could say. Don't <laughs> forget to visit the website, bestinshowbitch.com, where you can check out tons of merch. 
We got shirts and aprons and tumblers. So get your best in show bitch gear so we can start traveling to visit you all and create more bitch-tastic fun.